ever hear about the phrase fake it till you make it? Well, in this case, you might actually have to make your own faker. If you have not yet heard the news, Faker.js is dead. Um, dead in the sense that if you go to the uh, GitHub repository, there's a commit from six days ago at the moment and a readme that says what really happened to Aaron Schwartz. This video is not about what really happened to Aaron Schwartz. I will post a video or a link to a video in the comments from Fireship, which handles this topic brilliantly. What I want to have a look at in this video really fast is about some alternatives to Faker.js. And if you already have some alternatives to Faker.js, others than the ones that I'm going to, to show you, please write in the comment. One um, is fake data generator. And this one already has an issue, I would say, because they use the Faker API to create fake data. I'm not really sure at the moment um, if it is still going to work. So, I mean, if they have an older version of Faker, then this one is still going to allow you to uh, get uh, the same um, kind of data that you would have gotten from Faker.js. Um, and it is definitely a viable alternative. Uh, another one which is pretty specific if you're doing uh, automation or if, you're, um, if you want to uh, program and test a website um, that is uh, store related or e-commerce site related is fake store API. And this one focuses on uh, giving you information or giving you fake data for products, cards, users, and login tokens. It might seem not much, but it's more than enough uh, when wanting to automate uh, an e-commerce site. Um, the last alternative is actually called Minifaker. And it's the idea is um, to have, um, or this was considered to, um, uh, or was uh, intended to be um, a, a mini Faker.js offering only a couple of the options from um, from Faker. But it does have more, um, more than um, enough to, to get you started with faking data. I mean, in worst case, you can always go to um, the um, the NPM page of Faker, have a look at the previous version, version 666, 666 and um, you have here all of the methods, so you can implement them from scratch. And then have the brand new Faker.js as being your Faker. However, do keep in mind that um, doing good with open source has um, both its benefits, but also its um, downside. Um, as always, thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one and bye bye.